Today I'm going to install this heavy duty pivot hinge tire carrier on my Jeep. It's a Smitty built and I'll show you how easy it is. Okay, so in anticipation of my new tires, uh, I purchased a Smitty built pivot heavy duty oversized tarry carrier. This is gonna enable me to uh, attach a heavier rear tire to the to the back where the spare goes. It's by Smitty built. A couple of different companies make it. TerraFlex, uh, Rugged Ridge makes one. I went with the Smitty built. It's supposed to be a simple install, no drilling. Just unbolt the old one and install the new one and we'll see how it goes let's unbox it we opened it all up it's got about nine different parts each part actually each box is labeled what the part is so this is adjustable tire mount a braking light mount a adjustable tire mount b so i'm going to take it all apart we'll get this tire off and then we'll start so the tires off then the next step is we're going to take this tire mount off and we're going to use a 13 millimeter wrench. We're going to take out these eight screws. This should come right off. So the mounts off with simple eight screws. The next step they tell me to block the tailgate from the bumper to the bottom of the tailgate. So when I take off the hinges, it won't sag and everything will stay lined up. So I'm going to get a couple pieces of wood. We'll block it up. So I have it blocked off the tailgate so it can't fall down. Wedged in there. And the next thing they say is to take off these plastic covers, which should pry just right off. And they do. Plastic covers are off, and it shows the two bolts that attach the hinge to the tailgate. And then there's three Torx 50 bolts that attach it to the uh, quarter panel. Got to take the bolts off the tailgate first so we can open it this uh, hinge and then get to the three Torx 50. We'll take both of these off. So I took out the bolts that attach the hinge to the tailgate and now you can move this pretty easy and I can get to the three Torx 50 bolts and I'll take those out. And before we do it, it recommends using some blue Loctite on all the fasteners, these, these 10 fasteners. So uh, I'll put it in, I'll use some blue Loctite and I'm gonna get some help and definitely help to hold this up while you're doing it. Okay, so this is a Smitty built hinge plate and it is heavy and it's basically going to go right back on here. So it says basically to attach all the screws loose and then once you have it lined up then you can go back and tighten the uh, tailgate side then the hinge side. So let's start doing that. I just want to show you what I did real close. Basically these bolts here two out here and then there's one out there put them in you line it up and tighten them up super easy but it is definitely a two-man job you need someone to hold this while you do that so now i'm going to close this and again blue loctite and it recommends using the oem bolts so we'll do that okay so i got the three torx bolts on the top hinge and the bottom hinge on the fender and i put the oem uh, 13 millimeter bolts back in here so the hinge is on now and I removed the wood and this tailgate should open and close pretty easily and it does let's see if it lines up perfect nothing hitting okay the next step is the mount and all those boxes so take it apart and see what we got so this gets a little confusing the directions are really not too clear but this is the base plate that's going to go on the tailgate this piece here is for the third brake light it's the one section of it that actually goes behind it like that and then this piece is bracket a to your tire mount and you can adjust the height here and i've determined what a 34 inch tire that's going to be going on this to come up one hole and that'll get bolted on like that. So I'm gonna bolt all this together before we get it on the tailgate. 
So now I have it all assembled. And basically what we have is the plate. The back part is for the third brake light. And this part on the front is going to receive this tire mount. And this will be adjustable in or out for the uh, thickness of the tire. So it's tight up against the tailgate. So now I'm going to attach this plate to the tailgate with the provided eight screws. You're not going to use the OEM screws again. You're going to use the screws they give you. Okay, let's get to that. Now the next part is to attach the third brake light. Do that next. So instead of watching me uh, sit here and bolt on this third brake light, just explain it real quick. You got the uh, OEM cord that was plugged in. You plug it back into the, the light and it is very simple. They give you four small nuts and bolts and it bolts right onto that bracket. So you don't need uh, to cut anything. You don't need to uh, add anything. You don't need to buy a new light. Everything uh, is plug and play and real simple. Got everything bolted on. Uh, this was super, super simple. Everything went on just as it should. Uh, everything lined up. There was no cutting. Uh, no cursing. Yeah, I mean, it really went together simple. The directions, not so great, but if you're mechanically inclined, you can pretty much figure out where the bolts go. Uh, I don't have the studs in yet, and this might have to be adjusted because I don't have the tires, the new tires yet. I'm planning to put some 34 inch tires on here with a lift kit. Uh, I'm uh, trying to get this ready to be my towed vehicle for my RV. And, uh, but again, this was, uh, this was not a bad job. Anybody could do it. You definitely need help to hold this hinge while you're putting it on. Uh, that's a two-man job or you're going to really struggle. I'll leave a link below if you want to look into it. Again, I went with the Smitty Built. It seemed to be middle of the road price and uh, seemed to be the easiest to install. As always, thanks for watching.